What's up there guys, drone worship in your face. Someone asked me to make a video of how to remove the battery compartment. How do you do it? Well, I wasn't really worried about how it was done from the get-go, so what I'm going to show you what I did here is so that you guys have an idea of how to do this properly. Um, I couldn't really figure out how to take it apart, so what I did is I grabbed it with a pair of pliers and I just yanked it completely straight on out of the deck. Um, I, I actually ended up removing the JST connection and getting it out of the way so I could pull this out. So I wasn't worried about the damage that was going to be done to this. I just wanted to make sure this inner compartment here, this this one, stayed intact, okay? As you can see down here in the corner, I removed this whole back end. There was a square chunk. I took that out. Um, I took one of these little pegs out, and then the, that peg and that peg, I just took a pair of pliers, and I just cocked it sideways and pulled them off. Same thing down here, and then I took a little razor, and I cleaned out that whole area so that this battery could fit in there perfectly. Now, this is a big battery. Um, a lot of people aren't using batteries this size, so I'm, I've had to cut out a whole bunch more, but most of you guys won't have to do that. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do. It wasn't exactly hard, but now, so you guys can do it properly without worrying about breaking things. Here's a clip, there's a clip, and there's a clip. And when the battery compartment is in there, it's like this. So you would basically stick a flathead screwdriver down the side of this, and pull up and this battery tray would just come right out. Same thing with the back. You would just stick a flathead screwdriver in between the joint where it's where it's connected there so you guys can see right there. Stick a screwdriver down there, put pressure towards the pin and then pull out with a pair of pliers and it should just come right out. You don't have to destroy everything. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I hadn't seen too many videos on how to do it so I just decided to give a pull and uh, yank it right out and the clip still goes back on there. This still fits on there. There's a hole when the when the tray's on here. There's still a spot for this to clip into, and on the bottom, there's still a spot right there for it to clip into. If you guys can see that, so you will have two. I and I accidentally ground this other one down for other things I was trying to do. So, but it does clip in on the one side and the top, so it works fine for me. Um, that's it guys, just a pair of pliers is how I did mine. I suggest you guys use a flathead screwdriver now that you know where the battery clips are. And uh, it goes this way. So basically a, ba a, a flathead screwdriver on the end there, flathead screwdriver right here, and a flathead screwdriver. Actually by the time you probably get the first two out you should be able to pull the tray out. So you can see where those are. I'll line it up here on the top so you can see about where they are. So there you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, redo my JST connection now, put some more wire on it. This is basically all it's going to take to do this tab. Uh, the battery of my choice, the JST connection, and uh, these uh, simple tools. So, battery compartment removed. The back can now go on there when I'm done here, and I'll show you what that looks like. So, give me a sec here, guys. Okay. I removed all the glue from around the screen or from around the sun guard that I had on there and I put uh, super glue on there instead so it hides it a lot more and uh, it is a larger one than supposed to be on there but it's all good it's, uh, it's big but it fit almost perfectly so I ripped off all the clips and I fit it on there nicely looks good fits the screen perfectly and uh, as you can see there for all you people that were so worried about my battery tray and uh, the Velcro sticking out on the back. Okay, here you go, man. There, what do you think? Happy? <laughs> it's done, okay? JST connection on there. It's, uh, Velcro's been taken off the back. And uh, there you go. Boom, okay? That's how it's done. Alright guys, I would say this controller looks very nice now. I wish they would just send it to you like this. <laughs> but that would take all the fun out of it. Um, honestly though, I think I prefer this over the advanced transmitter. The screen is huge. It's got about the same uh, qualities now of the, of the other one. I mean, the other one does look a little nicer, but this one after being completed like this actually looks pretty decent. I'm, I'm really happy with the look, so. Alright guys, that's Drone Worship. I'm out. Tutoroo. Give yourself to the dark side.